most modern and deadly attack submarine in the world. Almost 100M long and with 98 crew, it's the world's first digital submarine, with computers controlling pretty much everything no optical periscopes on this baby, but a suite of HD and infrared cameras. It carries torpedoes and the notorious Tomahawk cruise missile, so she can hit targets 1,000 miles away to within 30 feet. A nuclear reactor for unlimited power and a four different sonar arrays round out an all-round scary bit of kit with all the black low-drag panels on her, she looks more like the scary supervillains ride than something used by the Royal Navy. This is awesome, stealth features mean that the astute class makes less noise than a baby dolphin, making her impossible to find underwater. So, she can vanish without a trace before blowing something up from 1,000 miles away. The Trojan is, simply, massive. It's basically the world's most badass piece of construction machinery, but designed for the battlefield. With the armored plow on the front, it can drive straight through minefields, the excavator arm on the back lets it push pesky things like cars out of the way, and in a hurry it can just drive straight through any brick walls that are foolish enough to get in its way. Oh, and it costs 4,500,000 pounds. This is awesome, it can tow a trailer with a minefield clearing system that uses rockets and explosives to clear a 10M path through a 230M minefield in under 10 minutes. Vehicles make a lot of heat, which can be picked up by infrared cameras, where they'll show up as big glowing targets anyone who's played Call of Duty knows what I'm on about here. This is generally regarded as a bad thing by soldiers, so B Systems has designed something that lets vehicles disappear on IR cameras, go to 0.38 to see the magic happen. It uses a matrix of hexagonal panels to act as pixels, which can quickly change temperature to match the background scenery, kinda like an infrared version of Bond's car in Die Another Day. This doesn't just mean that the vehicles can't be found, though most anti-tank missiles rely on IR seekers, so even if the tanks can be seen with the naked eye, the enemy anti-tank team will be left with a very expensive and totally useless heat-seeking missile, which would be more than a little bit frustrating. This is awesome, although it's only been tried on land vehicles so far, B plans on putting it on helicopters and ships next so true stealth ships maybe aren't so far away. A small, light, by armored vehicle standards, anyway, off-road vehicle for reconnaissance or fire support basically having a peak or really, really ruining someone's day. Its armor can withstand massive 0.50 caliber bullets, but despite all the armor it can still go 80 miles per hour. Its killer feature, though, is the weaponary stuck on the back. The primary weapon is either a Browning 0.50 caliber machine gun, pretty much identical to the ones used in Spitfires in World War II, or a 40 mm grenade machine gun then can fire high explosive grenades out to 2 km. There's also a 7.62 mm machine gun for when you don't feel like blowing up the whole world. This is awesome, thanks to super clever armor on the bottom of the car, if it hits a mine designed to blow up tanks, it's so well protected that the occupants will be able to stand up and walk away. Which is handy, an air defense destroyer, mainly designed to find planes, and then blow them up very quickly and painfully. Thanks to being crammed full of sensors and weapons, it's rather good at its job. The radar and missile combo means that it can shoot down a Mach 3 cricket ball 120 kilometers away, so jets and missiles aren't much of a problem. For close-in stuff, it's also got a point defense system of 20 mm phalanx guns. These use a radar to lock onto something, then unleashes 4,500 massive 20 mm shells per minute each to shoot it down. Basically, this ship is the boss of whichever bit of water it happens to be in even an American admiral labeled it badass. This is awesome, to deal with any of those pesky surface threats like ships, it's also got a 113 mm cannon and two 30 mm Gatling guns both of which can either use radar to lock onto stuff themselves, or be remote controlled from the ship's control room nice if you like blowing bad guys up without getting your hands dirty. A joint UK US venture, the F-35B is a stealthy new fighter, with one very special change, it can hover stationary in midair. 
it has a full arsenal of guided bombs and missiles, which can be carried internally, and it's also a stealth plane, which makes it damn near impossible to shoot down with missiles. The hover capability means it can operate from small aircraft carriers like the ones the UK is building or from improvised airfields on land. This is awesome, F-35S are fully digital, doing away with all the dials in the cockpit. It also means they can share targets across a data link, which I imagine makes shooting down a big swarm of MiGs a bit easier. The Challenger II's been around for a while now, but I reckon it still keeps its title as the best and meanest tank around, thanks to the combination of clever armor, big engines and ridiculously accurate weapons. The armor is the most impressive part of the package on one occasion in Iraq, a Challenger was hit by 70 rocket-propelled grenades without sustaining serious damage, and none of them have ever been destroyed by enemy fire. So, if you're thinking about a road trip through a war zone, this is your vehicle of choice. If you manage to get your hands on one, you'd also be able to settle any disputes with the locals, courtesy of the big scary gun on top. A 120mm cannon, it can fire shed loads of different ammunition, including depleted uranium rounds that will go through a couple of feet of plate steel. This is awesome, the Chowli holds the record for the world's longest distance tank kill, at 5 freaking kilometers. Think about it that's hitting a target a couple of meters across, at a range where you can barely see a bus. That's just insane. The Apache is a US helicopter that British geeks at Augusta Westland took, and made just a little bit better, and it's built in the UK. It's a fully digital attack helicopter, with a terrifying array of sensors and weaponry. Starting with the cameras, it's got a turret with daytime and infrared cameras built in, that can snoop from miles away, before you even realize you're being spied on. The pilot's also got a night vision system that lets him avoid annoying things like trees and mountains at night. The big dome on the top is a radar which can identify enemy people or vehicles, or even map the ground to find cubby holes or weapon caches. The weapons, though, are what makes this heli truly badass. The 30mm cannon has a range of around 3 kilometers, but the really cool thing is that it will fire where the pilot looks, giving a whole new meaning to the idea of a death stare. There are also 70mm rockets, which can destroy a whole wood, and Hellfire missiles, which are laser guided and will blow up anything up to a small ship, and cost the same as an Aston Martin DB9. This is awesome, it can be fully automated, combining the computer, radar, and missiles to identify, priorities and then blow up 16 targets in under 30 seconds, all with no human intervention that's kinda scary. Sometimes simple is best, which is why this comes in at number 2. The new sniper rifle of the British Army, it fires a 8.59mm cartridge out to 1,100 plus with incredible accuracy. This is awesome, this rifle holds the world record for the longest distance sniper kill, at 2,475m. And, in case you were in any doubt as to how good this rifle is, that wasn't a one-off shot the sniper in question hit two targets, and then managed to shoot the machine gun they were using that's a tiny target, shot three times in a row from well over a mile away, and just shows how undescribably epic this rifle is. Put simply, it's the future of combat planes, and it's made in Britain. Unmanned aerial vehicles currently in service are all propeller-powered and easy to shoot down, but that's not gonna happen with Durrani's. It's a supersonic stealth UAV, designed to sneak through radars and then bomb the crap out of whoever the government doesn't like at the moment. Although it's not in service yet, just the pictures of it sitting in a hangar are enough to scare the crap out of me. This is awesome, a little spookily, Tehranese also has an artificial intelligence system that should allow it to fly large parts of its missions without human control. Although this is deeply cool, I'm not really sure I want machine-controlled stealth fighters roaming the sky all by their lonesomes, thank you very much.